Me there on the don't know my people in our yard man enough from yard man AFC and I'm big up to all my people. Good night and good evening to all my beautiful people. Respect the love and support when the show to me throughout the months. Anyway, my people, I'm here today to talk about um a couple club that I believe my football team, Arsenal FC, should take the footstep and go in that direction that those clubs take and um see if we could reap any dividends from it. But it, they always they have a saying to say, it's only a wise man learn from a fool mistake. And um, where I think that we are going wrong is we are not making good decisions. We are not signing players who we will, we can sell them back on and we can even get back three quarters of the money that we pay for them, even, maybe even more. And you have seen clubs have do it over the years and uh, it reap dividends for them. Now, the first club I would like to talk about is Chelsea. Now, Chelsea have about uh, 40 players out and loan. Maybe some of them come back in this season. So you can say maybe about 30 players out and loan. That's in their youth team. And this is where Chelsea reap because Chelsea has been um, putting in into their youth team, getting the young talent, seek them, find them out, the young talent, and they, they, they nurture them, they send them out to other clubs to, to, to get more experience. And bam, what happened? Chelsea hit with a transfer ban for half a season. And where Chelsea went back to, they went back to their, their, their youth team. They're bringing back every one of them, most of them, sorry, like the, the likes of Tammy Abraham, um, Jason Mount, and um, you name it. Um, um, they, they, they bring them in back, and they're in the, 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 the squad now. And it's, it's, they, they've been playing well. I mean, they're above Arsenal. They're sitting in fourth. So pff, there must be something right. Now, Arsenal should follow the same footstep because we don't like to spend money and buy players. So if we don't like to do that, we should invest in our youth team, we need to go out there and, and, and scout the younger one but and, and, and bring them through because we don't like to spend that money. And if you don't want to spend that money, that's the route you have to go down. Go down. And Chelsea done it. And like I said, Chelsea pay off. It pay off for Chelsea this year. Maybe for the next four years, Chelsea will be great. Maybe they have to just add one and two player during that time just to help the, the, the squad because as you know they're they are they are young players and that, that's where i believe arsenal sh should go down that route getting the young player them coming to bring them through the club and we can put them in the first team if they're good enough if they're not send them out on loan let them go and get the experience and we can go back for them whenever we want look at the like of Nketiah is out there he's back on he's back because the six months half a season that him have with Leeds ended and he's back with us, I believe. He's going back out and loan again. I believe it's Brentford or one of them team I'm going to. I'm not sure, but I know he's going back out and loan. And um, we have Reese Nelson come through. We have Willow come through. We have Saka come through. We have um, Smith Rowe come through the, the, the youth team. And um, we have a couple more come through the youth team. And we need to invest. We need to scout better. Go out there, find the gems, polish them, bring them through, put them in the first team. Because it, it, as you see Chelsea do it, it can happen. Now, the next team I would like to see my club follow that footstep is um, Liverpool. Now, as you know, Liverpool has been struggling for the last 30 years. Yes, they win the Champions League during that time. But I mean 30 years, they haven't won the Premier League or the Premiership for over 30 years now and you can say this season they will be, they will win it with no doubt they will win it and um what liverpool do liverpool actually realized where they was going wrong and where they was going wrong and most of the team where where they go wrong is they were building a team to finish in the top four so they can play champion league and when they didn't finish in the top four, they fall below. And at times Liverpool finish. I think one season Liverpool even finish seventh or below seven as well. So you see where they make a mistake. They understand, they realize, and 
I mean, they sell Catino and they sell um, Suarez and they get a lot of money coming and they invest that money properly. And what Liverpool do? They build a team to beat Man City because they, re they realize that the team to beat is Man City. So if we need to win, we have to build a team that can not just compete, but can beat Man City. And when I said beat them, you can go to the Etihad Stadium and you can beat them. You can go come bring them back to Anfield and you can beat them. And that's what Liverpool done. And look at it, Liverpool pay off dividends because they build a team that would able to stand up there with Man City. And you see, see last year, they only lose one game. I don't think that has ever happened in the Premier League before. Lose one game but still didn't win the Premier League or the Premiership. So these are the, 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 the team that I believe my club should take the footstep and follow. Now, an Arteta. A lot of people did doubt Arteta coming into the football club. I am one of them. But my reason for doubting Arteta, not because he hasn't managed before, that wasn't my reason. My reason was that my club will bring in Arteta as a young manager come in who they can bully, who they can give the run around, who they could give um, 20 million, 40 million in the transfer window and tell him that's all they, have, they, they, they got to spend. He have to sell before he can spend. And um, the player them that they, is there is they they're not good enough for other club to come in and pay top box for them because they're not that sort of player, and that's where they go wrong because they invest or they scout wrong the, the wrong type type of player, and if it doesn't work out they can't re, um re reincorporate back any money of those players because no club want them for that sort of money which what Arsenal is looking for, and um. So that's my reason I I did doubting I didn't want Arteta to come. It what so that that yeah like I said that's my reason. No Arteta come in I have to give him the back in. But I was I, I'm always said and I always said, is the board gonna back Arteta? Because I can give him my support, but is the board who is there to to stand up with him and give him the tool to do the job that. As it's look right now, what, about three weeks going, four weeks going in the job, we look like he is the manager who is a no-nonsense manager. He will take the team where the team need to go. And um, as we can see, the board is not doing that. The board is not backing him. And that was my problem. Back the guy. Give the guy the tool. Give the guy the player so we can win something. We can go back in the Champions League because, as you know, most people don't realize why um, these clubs want to play in the Champions League. The Champions League is like the World Cup. Every player, most players, need to want to play in the Champions League because winning the Champions League with, a, with your club is like winning the World Cup with your country. So this is why players don't really want to go to a club who is not in the Champions League. And um, one of the routes, or the only route we have to get back in the Champions League is to win the Europa League. And to win the Europa League, what we have to do is to go out there and go and get one, a centre-back and a holding midfielder like a Torreira, which in will sit there and sweep up everything that's coming in front of him and give leave less pressure on the back four. So if Torreira make a miss up, the back four is there to help and they will look good. And Liverpool has done it. If you look on Robinson, if you look on um, Gomez, you look on Van Dijk, yeah? And you look at um, uh, Matic, um, not Matic, um, Anderson. These players, they, they work in such unity where if one make a mistake, the next one is there to just to help out to make it look like nothing didn't happen. And this is what we want. Why we don't go down the route where we can win the, 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 the European League and go back in the Champions League so we can attract the big name player. We can get that extra 50 million that we can spend on player. Why they don't invest? Why the Cranky? Stan Cranky is a billionaire. Not a millionaire, a billionaire. I don't believe to give the football club a hundred million it would be something hard for him to do. I don't believe that. He want a club that is self-sustained. But 
For you to be self-sustained, leave us make a club self self-sustained, you have to first invest in that club. Push them the right way so they can they can f feed off their own. If you don't do that and just allow them and say, oh, you have to do this, but yes, they are taking out the money which they should have to, 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 to nurture and to get right player coming to the club. You are taking back that, out, that money out of the club and you're bringing it in, back into America. So how can we move forward as a club, as a club like Arsenal? Because Arsenal is not a small club. Arsenal is a big club, a massive club in England, especially in London. Arsenal is the biggest football club in London. But we're not acting like a big football club. We're acting less than mediocre club. Less than a mediocre club when it comes on to recruiting, when it comes on to sign players. No, we have been linked with several 32-year-old players. Cavani, we have been linked with um, um, the next player from, you know. But anyway, we need to, to start to back the guy, give the guy the backing that he need so he can go in the Europa League, win the Europa League, get us back in the Champions League, attract the big name player. Because as you can see, where Arteta come in, where he bring back energy, he resurrect all of those players and he give them new life, he give them belief, he give them trust, he encourage them. You can see the Leeds game where we're playing like the, the old Emery, um, um, squad and he, he, he half time give them the half time team talk and I mean you can see the difference they believe in what he was saying and they believe in him and they come back out and a different Arsenal team come back out yes and, 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 and one and you can say Lee's was a bit drained they was a bit tired because they, they run the, the old first half and they pressed the old first half and they was a bit tired so and one and yes it helped Arsenal but you can see where him changed things around and things was different. Now, if you if you see a guy who's doing that, you need to give him the support. You need to give him the backing. The next thing about Arsenal is that the training, we're not fit. We, everybody can see clearly we're not fit. And this is one of our biggest problems since 2011. Nasri come out when Nasri leave Arsenal and go to Man City. He said, oh my God. It was a different um, level field, playing field that he was on. He could not believe the high intensity training that he had to go through at Man City. It was nothing compared at Arsenal. And these are one of the things that we have been lacking in and we hasn't done. Now, like I said, we need to give the guy the backing. We need to give the guy the support. And only person can do that is the board. Arsenal board the only person who can go out there get him a defender get him a, a, a all in midfielder and let's go and win the Europa League my people all I need from you like, is just to leave on a comment let me know what I want to think about this if you think that I'm right if you think that I'm wrong let me know my people because you are the reason why I'm doing this video only for you only for my subscriber only for other people everybody leave on a like leaving a message let me know what you think we have we we the football um support are giving arteta the support but the board is not backing him we're actually gone over a week already in 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 the transfer window and we still hasn't linked with a proper defender we've been linked with two center forward and uh, and they all passed their sell by date nearly seven eight years ago and a defender who passes sell by year, sell by date five years ago. What we need to do, we need to come together as a team and we need to let Stan Cranky know that he need to put money into this club. Put money in the club, get the right set of player come in and let this club move forward. Thank you, my people, and have a pleasant good night. Love to you all. Let me know in the comment. Leave the like. Leave in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my page. Thank you, my people. Out.